My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make mouth movements in Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've pasted two pictures that I've taken of myself saying um, some consonant, I'm sorry, some vowels so that I could better understand how my mouth looks when I'm saying this. So I have A and E. And so the reason that you might want to know about this is because uh, Photoshop has an animation program. Um, and if you're making an animation where the character is talking, you might want it to look pretty realistic. Um, so, and there, there are really some quick methods to learning that. And the easiest way is to take a photo or a video of yourself saying words that have a lot of vowels and consonants in them. So that way you can really get that understanding and there's two ways you can go about doing this. If you're not really good at looking at something and drawing it, then I'd recommend just tracing over your image so that you can learn what kind of lines you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my paintbrush tool and I add another layer on top so that I don't mess up the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace this really quickly. And then after that, you can go back and look at it and say, OK, so now I know where the teeth are, where the tongue is. As you can see, it's, the tongue is actually right there. And then you're going to want to also make sure to add this little guy up here. And then your bottom lip, maybe some just lines right here. And you can even, if you want to, just do that. And if you do this for every letter of the alphabet, it actually will help you um, because then you'll have something like this. And then you'll have a better reference with your own hand. So that way, you don't have to keep retracing it. You'll be like, OK, I remember how to make this. So I can keep redrawing. And it's actually pretty simple. Um, so I would recommend just going through each letter of the alphabet and then figuring out a word that has that sound that can really give you the image that you're looking for. And then take pictures and then lay them all out and then just do drawings based on those pictures. And then you'll start to understand mouth movements a lot better and then eventually you won't even need them anymore. You'll just begin to memorize them, especially if you're animating. Um, so that'll definitely come in handy. My name is Alex and this is how to make mouth movements in Photoshop. Thank you.